G'day folks, so uh, I'm going to be starting a series called The Age of Deceit and I'm going to be doing short five minute videos just reading excerpts of um, just insights and information and uh, trying to connect some dots and bring out the holistic pattern recognition side of the brain and look at things the way they are. So uh, today I'm going to be reading an excerpt and it's from two authors. The text by Wilford Peltier and Ted Poole and it's called when I woke up. Uh, so I think we can all remember the time, you know, if you are out of the matrix, if you've taken the red pill, you know, that day when you realized, holy shit, nothing is as it seems. Nothing is as it seems. And it really applies to everything. Every, every single damn thing. <laughs> yeah it's all fake it's this present age has been written about and it's just all deception it's all um, survival people are just in fight or flight survival mode and uh, you know that's what money does really but I'm going to continue with this excerpt and uh, here it goes when I woke up. When I finally woke up, I took a look around. I saw city halls, courthouses, houses of parliament, churches, schools, and universities by the hundreds and thousands. I saw systems, systems for managing the land, the air, and the water, systems for managing human behavior, systems for managing religion, Systems for managing learning and education. Systems for managing food, shelter, and clothing. Systems for managing love and procreation. A vast complex of carefully engineered systems. I saw millions of people working, not for themselves, but for someone else. I saw millions of people doing not what they themselves want to do, but what someone else wants them to do. I saw the depressing evidence of a people who have externalized and institutionalized. In fact, they have tried to standardize the very nature of humanity. I saw a whole people who've lost the way of life and in its place have built a technological monster. Which does, not, which does most of their hard work, carries their water, delivers their food, raises their kids, makes their decisions, says their prayers, transports them, informs them, entertains them, and controls the people it serves absolutely. I also saw that the monster seemingly unable to control itself, was running wild, totally out of visible control, ripping the land to pieces, spreading poisons, filling the air with filth, dumping garbage and shit in lakes and rivers. I saw all that, and I saw the people, millions of them, crowded together in dense cities, living side by side, in towns, villages, and rural areas, but I didn't see a single community. Is someone doing all this on purpose? Yes. <sighs> That's a heavy text. It's uh, really describes the current condition of humanity to a T. And uh, 
it's kind of depressing, but there is a solution. You know, don't you hate it when people just explain the, the situation, explain the problem, but they don't give you a solution? I can't stand that. So I'm going to uh, get into that next video, but for this video I just wanted to read that and let people see just how vast this system of control is. Because a lot of people have a hard time believing that it's everywhere, and it is. As above, so below. It's everywhere. It's penetrated every single aspect of society. Economy, healthcare, government, business, education, fucking you name it. It has its fangs in there. And people can't believe that it's possible to organize such a elaborate scheme. But you just have to be able to look at the patterns and you'll see it'll hit you and you'll realize. As daunting and scary as it may seem, there is a solution. There's always a solution. You know, there's a cause. And there's going to be an effect. And if there's an effect, then we can change the cause. We cannot change the effect, but we can change the cause. So, that's all I have for now, and I'll catch you next time.